I talk about like it's kind of like Netflix. Mm-hmm. So you can go to Netflix and you can watch a documentary that shows you what the world is like and you can learn from that. Or you can go and watch Spider-Man. And when I finish watching Spider-Man, I don't sit there thinking that I'm going to like, you know, hang off the ceiling from spider webs from my fingers. And one is the same. There is the educational documentary type routes. There's the one that is very um, conscious of showing real sex and showing the lube and showing. But then there's the rest of it, which mm-hmm. is the fantasy world. And there's nothing wrong with creating a movie that delves you into fantasy right it's, right it's not the enemy just because it doesn't show it right absolutely and i get frustrated sometimes when you hear about people talking about ethical one in the sense of it has to show all of those little things that would that happen behind this i don't think it necessarily has to in order to be ethical i think that's a terrible <laughs> definition of being ethical yeah and that's also suggesting that like also has to be sex education which it's not at its core yes there is some that that is educational, like you mentioned, but overall, it's a form of entertainment. That's why it's called the adult entertainment industry. Yes. 